Um, there's a woman in that room with you. So why don't you introduce who's with us right now? Now we're recording here. Unless so want to run away. Let me put the gibble around so we can see everybody. <laughs> Tommy. Jimmy. <laughs> Lucy. I'm getting a name, Marge. It is completely dark with the light on. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab my flashlight and it help and use it. Was that a yeah. wreck yard? It what? Is that was that like a wreck yard? <laughs> well, use uses like a gym or an exercise area. No. Okay. I like so to show you something. This is where the fire was up here. Yes, but it's not in this area. <sighs> mm-hmm. Look at look, now. This liver. Is where... Somebody's down there that had issues with liver. Oh my god. <sighs> it was back in that other section. Like most kids growing up, I experienced unexplained things that I was too afraid to talk about. As I got older, I kept ignoring those things as they kept getting stronger. Fast forward to 2019, I experienced a life-changing situation that I would never forget. Consulting with some of the most amazing professionals in the field, I have learned how to control and adapt to some of the most amazing experiences in my life. Hi, my name is Tommy. Through the years, I ran into individuals with the same situations, growing up the same exact ways, and experiencing the same exact things. We decided to get together to perform a group where we can explore the unexplained. Please join us on our journey. This is Finding Paranormal. Tommy, again, for the folks tuning in right now, exactly where where are we located doing this? We are, we are at the Fairfield County Infirmary by the funeral parlor, which is the older section of the building uh, that was built in 1828. Okay, and, and where uh, the, the, the town and stuff like that? Uh, Lancaster, Ohio. Okay. Thank you. Interesting. Is there more notes that you want to check out? Actually, I want to I want to look at something real quick. Um, just so for everybody who knows, um, or everyone who's tuning in now, when I sat down initially to um, even begin this investigation tonight, I received a whole bunch of information. So I made a lot of notes and I sent them to Tom um, in order to try to just be on the same page because we're obviously in two different locations tonight. Yeah, it's not me. I've got my ice packs over here, so <laughs> I can't take any more of you. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess we we started recording. We never, you know, um, we would lot. We were hoping we were going to be with you guys live, but uh, unfortunately, I had surgery and recovering, so we're coming Jesus, to you live Jesus. from a couple different locations. Let's go with it. We there are we, go. we are live. We are recording. Um, Christy, you got private chat up if you need to. So we can reach out, and I'm going to watch this full screen, full screen, so I can move. So now I can move Christy if we need to, and there we go. So I don't need to watch for comments. Good. So we're perfect. Perfect. I can listen in nice and good on my end. So let me turn my volume up. 
I think you might. There's another piano. Stop. Yes. Okay. So you can walk all the way through, like the way you were about to go, correct? You could just walk. Yes. If you were to move to your right, you could walk right through. Okay. Yes. Um, I feel like that. Can you go back to the piano? Don't know. Don't leave the room. Go back. Um, there's a woman in that room with you. Okay. I feel like that piano used to be up against that wall. And there used to be wallpaper on that wall that had like, um, it was lighter white, but it had like some sort of pattern. And as I'm talking, my neck is starting to cramp all in here. Um, the woman is standing against the wall next to that, that light switch. She's dressed turn of the century. Her hair is um, in the bun that kind of pushes down. So her hair looks kind of poofy. Uh, she's got the long skirt on. She's just kind of standing there. I feel like she probably, no, she wasn't. I, I'm in shock. Why? Can you validate any of that? Um, Me and Lucy, Lucy, I don't know if you pick her up, but she's a empath. empath. Excellent. Um, we both picked her up, and can I show you? She okay. Hold on one second. So she wants to talk to me some more, and I am getting. She was very sick, and I had picked up. If you look at my notes from earlier, I picked up on a female who I felt like had stomach issues or like stomach cancer or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like Mike, my, my back and my kidneys, like my torso. It just feels like everything is shutting down on me. I feel icky. I feel very sick. Yeah. I'm getting um, emotional. Like I'm getting was, very emotional. Yeah. I feel like that was her. Um, she's nodding at me. Okay. So right now I'm going to kind of go with most artifacts that I'm seeing in there uh, are, um, small dust particles or something like that. Like the one that just went in front of the camera. Yeah. I, I seen that come across the camera, Yeah, but it did not, I did not see it would make my naked eye at all. And now the GS2 is getting heat centered. Yep. So See the now, red dots? But yep, let's definitely, we'll concentrate on that. And as long as, so we just had something pop from the left side, kind of came from the doorway along the back of the piano. Yeah. And, and I didn't, I'm not seeing with my naked eye at all. It's not coming through the grid at all. Yeah. So. Most of the other stuff that's moving around right now is going to be your general room. Because you, the, the phone you're using, uh, for the folks that are watching, it, it is a pretty, uh, you know, high-end phone. So it's going to pick – it's a pretty sensitive sensor, as we saw earlier. Um, we notice that a lot with the iPhones. Uh, with the light, especially like the 13s, they have that LiDAR sensor. So they're going to pick up on a lot of that stuff that's going on. All right, partner, um, what do you got? I am um... – well, just to add on to the woman, she's pretty much gone, but I had gotten the name Adele. It sounded like Adele, uh, but that was it for her. And then um, in the last few minutes, I've been feeling awful. I keep putting my head back like this. I feel like my neck was broken, but it was broken going backwards. And I feel like it was some form of hanging or punishment or some something happened to me where my neck broke, but it broke going back. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not. Me and, Lucy, me and Lucy's been here quite a bit, and we both are a little puzzled with that one. Um, and it's a man. I'm not sure where he's coming from. I'm just picking up on that. He's not giving me a lot. Actually, the more I'm talking, the more I'm getting. Um, Can I show you what we think might be the woman? She's very pale skinned, this woman. Yes. I can show you. Yeah. I think this might blow your mind. 
because it put me in tears. I was just going to ask where the stairs were. Do you see those? Oh, he froze. Yep. Hang on. You froze, Tommy. There we go. Oh, there. You see me right now? Yep. You see this white dress? Yes. It's the original. And it belonged to. And that's that's the organ type piano I was looking at. That's it. So you picked Not up the other one. She you, led me to. She led me here. Yes. You see the name? Mary Loretta. Nineteen oh nine. Helfrich. That is her dress. That's beautiful. That is the original dress that was donated to the building. And is there a reason it's next to that piano? Did she play that piano? Was that? I I don't know. I have no clue. What's? Can I please see the picture in the middle, in the back, on the on top of the piano there? There's a glare. Can you just switch the yeah. angle? Thank you. There we go. That's a good shot. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to back up a little bit so you can initially see the whole piano. <clears throat> oh, I've seen that on the phone, but I'm not seeing that visually with my own eyes. No. And I can't, and it didn't look like something, you know, normally you could see from the flashlight itself that something's coming in front of it. Right. And I didn't see that nothing. That's a lot of dust there. This piano has been known to play on its own. Especially the, the deeper, um, the lower keys. And unfortunately, that's been said. Unfortunately? No, that's good if you're validating me yeah. on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm validating yeah. now it's happened in this building. Yeah. You just yeah. heard it. Yeah, for sure. And, Who and, likes this piano? Yeah. And, and do we think it's her? I believe it's her. Because I don't hear it being, I don't hear like a ballad being played. I don't hear like a full song being played. I hear miscellaneous two or three keys, slow, almost like she just kind of lingers on the keys. It's not like I hear it actually playing. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Um, but one of the things that I did see with the piano was, where is it? Small piano or organ against the wall, sitting room with a question mark. And next to the room, floral patterned wallpaper. That's what I wanted to see because I knew I made a note about the Oh, yes. Christy, awesome. as, long as, as long as you got the paper right there and you're making the note, uh, it's going to be at 16 minutes uh, in... Uh, 10 seconds. Yep. And then uh, I just found out I can print the screen and at least make a quick PDF, too. So. Awesome. Um. So this is one of the first times we're doing a live investigation oh. remote. Hold on. Man. <laughs> my, gib my gibble flipped on me. Oh, gimbal. For yep. those of you who don't follow Where's My Sage and you're unfamiliar, every time we say gimbal or we hear gimbal, we drink. We drink. <laughs> we drink. And it's Mountain Dew because we've been working all day long. So. Yeah, and I don't mind that base. <laughs> that's, that's thanks to our friend Matt at Central Florida Bayfoot. That's right. <laughs> he, he, got, said, he, he go said it so many times. It and, won't I mean, show. And what, yeah, that yeah. I ran out and bought one, and uh, we, yeah, Tommy and I got to tell, talk about that the other, uh, the other night. <laughs> last night, wasn't it? Yep, yep. Yeah, it was last night. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. So there, it was said so many times in one show. Finally, we're like, this should be a drinking game. So that's how that all got started. So, yeah. and uh, he's he's a big uh, got a background in um, telecommunications, and so and using the cameras and stuff like that. So, so 
I have a thought here before you go. With that wallpaper, Tommy, if you yes. ran a static camera on that wallpaper with a light the way it is, like almost set up like this, I think if you if you had any motion in that area, you might be able to get something because there's that pattern that you would end up with a breakup in that pattern. Mm. Like the grid pattern. Okay. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm just saying you can try it by, you know, running having somebody run the light or a pen or something just so you get a break of light. As we say, well, like a regular flashlight or multi, or just, just no, even even uh, the regular flashlight. But I'm thinking just like the laser. But I, I've never. Oh, we got a shadow. Who's walking behind you? So we got a shadow up in the corner by the door, uh, left hand side of that door. Yeah, but where you're shooting at your flashlight right there was there was a shadow a minute ago. So I see it on my vision. So I'm I'm picking up on a gentleman, and there's a little boy who took off too. That was almost like with him, but kind of doing his own thing. Oh, and uh, this, Lucy this just, little boy is about six and, years old. And Lucy's indicating that there is walking down this hallway. You hear walking down that hallway? Yes. Awesome. Uh, what? Something just broke that. I thought I'd just seen something shadow figure kind of dart. Now that one I want to go back and look at because that one kind of changed some different directions. So it wasn't just a standard flow. I think that was a bug. Yeah. But it looked like something had darted right to left. Um, I want to go up those stairs. I'm being drawn up those stairs. You're being drawn I up. Almost, I almost, I almost, feel like I want to run up those stairs and fly out that door. With that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like I need to run up those stairs and just crash and run, keep running through that door? Um, who was that? Wow, that Let's just they, they oh. point us in the direction where they want us to go. Do they want us to leave that floor? Um, possible that area. And, and while we're talking, Lucy. Is sitting right there with me and she said there was whistling on the second floor gotcha let's go so why don't you introduce who's with us right now and now we're recording here unless so, they want to run away let me put the gibble around so we can see everybody <laughs> tommy <laughs> lucy hi, hi. <laughs> so as you've seen um now that we're recording, Jamie's recording me and Lucy's kind of being my eyes from her notes. This this hallway is actually a clutter and a mess um, because they're still doing some cleaning and whatnot. Can you go down that hallway? This hallway? No, the other hallway to your what? left. The one you said was a mess. Yep. -er. Mm -hmm. it's an interesting Two camera. rooms to the right. Two rooms to the right? Yeah, that's what I was just told. That room or that room? Which was the second room on the right. This one. I'm being told that was a safe haven for somebody. Ooh, safe are you, haven. Are you uh, familiar with this room? Uh, not completely. There's but a female I, energy in here, although um, it's mostly residual. Are you guys uh, live recording with an audio recorder right now as well? We have a camcorder. Okay. That's recording. I also get a male energy from this room, but I, and I feel like maybe they they were in these rooms at different times. Um, I got a, it's, it's a, I got a, I got an energy pickup in this room. Oh my God. I have you right there. Hey, I dreamt that room. Can you go back for a second? Oh my God. Look at the number in the corner in the door frame. Which 
Back out the hallway? No, no. Stay there. Did that say 22, Mike? Is that yes, what? It, yes, it's it's 22. <laughs> um, you turned. Yes. As you were turning to your left. The, um, yes, right there. There's a bug. I know. I dreamt this view, which is not unusual. I, I can dream the future and sometimes it takes four or five years. Sometimes it takes six months. Sometimes it's a few days, but I usually don't remember it until it's in the moment. Like I'll remember it when it happens or like I'll wake up and then I'll know, you know, dream versus visit versus, you know, like premonition kind of a dream. And in that moment, looking at that angle with the window and the dresser and the mirror, I remember dreaming this and walking through here. That's crazy. Oh okay, sorry. I just had to say that. So, because it totally took me, it was like that moment when I saw it all happen, I made the connection. Um, go back to your left, go back to your left, go back to your left. Okay, what? <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure out what that shadow is. Is there another mirror inside that room? No, um, yes. Okay. Okay. There's the mirror. All right. So that's where we're getting. A, we're getting a reflection off that. Hey, mirror. Mike, it's a doll. Look at the doll. No, he's, he's looking. He's looking at my light on the mirror, and it's ricocheting off the wall. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's Who's some, there? something in the room here? Just... There is something in the room there. Actually, I feel like people have had good luck with um, EVPs in this room. Yes, we've had quite a bit in this room. Yep. This is an active room, and there's a male in this room. Um, I also feel like little kids come and go. I'm actually picking up on three. Um, a little girl who, oh, thank you. A little girl who would be older, maybe around eight or nine. And then maybe not that old, maybe seven or eight. And then I get, uh, she's a bit taller for her age though. And then I see two littler boys, maybe around three to five. Ooh. Wow. There's a lot of power in that room. How many outlets are in that room? Um, one, two, three. I think that's it. I think they're all on the outside walls. Okay. Um, yeah, there might be a couple more maybe behind the picture. It'd be or... very, very interesting to run an EMF on the floor in there and see what kind of energy levels you get off that. Just, okay. Or see if some of the other rooms have that same amount of um, electrical. Outlet? Yeah. Okay. I mean, just that just seems like there's a lot of a lot of juice going into that room. You know, just like it was a, maybe they used it as an office or something like that. Maybe was that used at one time as an office for transitional or something? I'm not 100 percent positive. Okay. That's just it. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of electricity. Of, that's a lot of electricity in, in an old building like that. And, and it's like I said, this is the outside wall because the street is literally behind okay. the stretcher. Well, that's actually a, like a vanity, right? A, a makeup yeah. vanity. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is definitely, I'm, I'm glad you point that out. That, that's definitely. Um, uh, is there a ceiling fixture as well in that room? Yes, there's two yeah. lines. And that's, is that a sprinkler system? Or is, that uh, power, or is that power conduit going through? That's sprinkler system. Okay. Well, no, there is a box. There, see the oh, box? yeah. See it right there. So you've got two, three, four. That's interesting. That ch I would chase those wires on a tin ceiling. That's kind of interesting. And, I mean, it's not. it doesn't mean it's going to – have interfered or create i mean it can create things that you know like the feeling it'll, it'll ramp things up so i'm not surprised then if there is that kind of juice going in there that you're able to get or you have as much activity as you do this, in that room this is the they, other room they can feed be, off of that this is the other room and it looks like one two and there's one behind the dresser okay. but it's weird because it's only on the one side of the room Okay, that's really and you might have seen no, there's one right there. Go to the right or go to your left. There's a, there's a red there's a red box right there. Oh yes. That was initially installed by Adam. So that's, yeah, that's, that's new. That's new. That's new.
That's new yep. power. So when you look up at the ceiling, you've got your sprinkler system going, and then you've got old conduit running parallel to that. So that's going to be old announcement line maybe or something like that. There's a lot of energy coming off of those white boot shoes and off of that sewing machine. Is that a Singer sewing machine? Yeah, it was. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. I feel like that thing has been heard. I feel like people have heard that. That This is definitely a Singer. I yeah. got that same table. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some old antique shoes. Nope, that's not what I'm, no, the other boots, the other shoes, the white ones on the floor to your right. You, oh, those yeah, babies that's, right that was there. Those are. Look at my, oh man, this thing is like. Wow. Does it got mm -hmm. a back trigger on it? I was holding that. There we go. <laughs> I was holding it on itself and, or by itself again. Yeah, yeah, I was holding it to lock it so I can do this. That's cool. Because when I don't lock it, it does this. Yeah, if you if you end up doing it, uh, you should be able to lock it. But if you hit that double tap on it, it'll do the whole swing and spin and. Yeah, I think that I might have done that, but just those, to give you. There's a lot, right? Yeah. Gosh, wow. Those are really good shape for. If they're, yeah, they're they period, if those are period twos, those are in really really good shape. Where's there's um, no, I don't see any scuff marks or anything like that. FYI, my phone has only got fifteen percent. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to get you on charge then. Yeah. So, is there someplace else you want to go for a couple minutes, or um, should we just go ahead and, and just call the night on this? Why don't you go ahead and take me to whatever room you want me to look at and we'll see what I get. Like if there's a place you guys like to go, um, if there's something you guys like to do there, you can. I would like, to take, you, I would I like to take you to one area for a few moments because okay. during the con, we experience a lot up here. Okay. Don't tell me anything. Just take me. I'm not. I'm area. not. I'm not giving you no details of what we experienced. Now, Tommy, you can. If if somebody else has that link, we share that link with somebody. You can swap either the phone or whatever. We don't have to use consistently use your phone. We can oh, use yeah. another device uh, to keep to going keep live. Going. So if you've got yeah. your okay. tablet or whatever, that that as long as you have some kind of internet connection, we can easily tap somebody in as a backup and and keep running. So I stopped because I heard a male's voice. Is that a catwalk? This is a ramp. Oh, Grant. Okay. Now, the area that we experienced at the con is this entire hallway. <laughs> like that hallway up, if you wouldn't mind. If you watch Destination Fear, they got some really good evidence in this hallway. I don't want to give you too much information, but it happened at the end of this hallway. Don't, can you don't can you can you can you shoot can anything. you shoot a flashlight down that hallway? Just beam it right now. Yeah, don't tell me location. Don't can, tell me what other people got. Don't tell me anything. Bring, bring the light up. Man, that is that is dark from that from the the next set of doorways back. I mean, you're oh, even yes. with your light on there. It's just yep. there's it's, two lights flashing right now. Lucy beside me has got her flashlight on. I've, I've got my headband on and the camera on my phone. So there's three lights. Um, so what? Okay. We need to look at what the paint is there. Why? Because it's well, really um, absorbing. Let, let me tell you what I'm getting first before we start analyzing. Because if you do that, you're going to make me focus on other stuff. And <sighs> See, that's my flashlight. Now, Lucy, turn yours back on. That's hers. Hmm. All right, Christy. Okay, so I'm actually focused on this section of hallway. Like, I feel like there's a lot that goes on in this particular section. But looking down the hall as well, I feel like at the end of the hall to the right of that door or the end of whatever's there. Um, I also picked up on a little boy. I got the name Joey. 
and I got the number six. I feel like he's six years old. Um, Leave. Go ahead. No, no, try to keep that flashlight stable so we can kind of keep an eye on that back corner because I'm watching that back left side. I was going to say, you know, I picked what was up. That? Yeah. Did you see um, that on the on the screen? Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I did. I saw that on the screen, but let's try to keep that flat. Keep the flashlight stable on, okay. on that, that light, or you know, that way we have a stable. Chrissy, go keep going with your your thing. Sorry to interrupt. I feel like somebody got sick up here. Like threw up. I'm drawn to the two rooms up on the left hand side. Wow. Can we go to the rooms that are the two rooms up on the left hand side, particularly the first one, but I feel like it's both of them. One, two, but I feel like it's the first one. I'm more drawn to the first one. No, 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 that's the second one. Back up a room, back up a doorway. No, you keep going to the right. Just stay to the left. I'm looking at the left. No, 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 honey. The, it's the right. rooms. No, 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 no. That's your right. <laughs> go to the left. <laughs> okay, go back up one room or back up one doorway. Right there. Is that the same room? No. No, it's not. I'm... I'm very drawn to those two rooms, particularly this one first. And right now I see somebody huddled, scared in the corner, sitting on the floor with their knees up. Is that an observation window? Yes. It goes to the other room. My hand, my hand hurts. And I feel like I punched the wall because my knuckles and my, my hand all in this area. I seen it on the screen, but I didn't see that visually with my own eyes. Can you move up towards that observation window? How does that construction look new or? No, no it's original. That's an original mirror. Uh, two, it's a two-way mirror, right? Yes. Can you move your camera right up to that mirror, please? A little closer. Go right. Go right to the glass. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna get the reflection because of the camera. Shucks. Um, yes. But I can go to the other room. Is what which side? What side is the mirror on? Uh, this side. The room that we're in. Okay. I'm hearing banging and clanging, like someone's banging. It's almost like they're banging on the radiator. Bang. Bang! Almost out of boredom, but to get to get someone's attention, like okay, I'm gonna sit here and do this because eventually someone's gonna come see what I want. Still picking up on younger people too. Was that used as a quiet room? Possible. Not sure. Why would they have an observation unless it was either infectious control or right. um, <laughs> somebody in? Mental health distress. A lot of power in there, too. Yes. Actually, I think every room initially has the cable. It's interesting. They didn't use the original conduit, and they ran all new. What year again was it? The building was built again in what year? It's uh, the bump out section. The older section was 1828. And then early 1900s, they started this, the area that we're currently in. Okay. Um, see, and the funny thing about the kids that I'm, I'm picking up on the younger, I don't feel like there was a lot of kids there. Are you, do you know? Can you validate that? Because I feel like they weren't supposed to be there, but they were anyway for some reason. That's what I'm picking up on. There was a, quite a bit of kids here. 
there was. Yes. But I still feel like that was wrong or not okay or wasn't supposed to be happening. So were they there because they had nowhere else to put them? I think it was more in the lines they were they, they were they were or, what orphans. They they were dropped off by their parents and left here. Thank you. So it really wasn't for them. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Because that's I that's the feeling I feel like I'm getting excuse me from them. Um, like we're not supposed to be here. This is not a place for us. Um, um, is that door reinforced? Meaning, no. It's not. A, it's not a heavy re. Okay. That that sounds like it's new. Yeah. Look like it's. It looks like it's new. Well, the hinges look like they're. Can you go in three eleven for me? That one right there. Okay. So as soon as you walk in there. Whoever was in those rooms at the at one point, I when you go circle back to the left to the wall as soon as you walk in. Thank you. I see somebody again sitting on the floor, and they're in they're just you know hospital, you know, um, just their everyday kind of like just the, the pants and the top sitting, and it's a man. It's a young adult male shaved head sitting in that corner leaning against facing facing the door but leaning looking at that wall and just kind of knocking almost like he's communicating with whoever's in that other room like i feel like they did that back and forth i wonder what the period is on that heating system because i don't think that is the original do you see anything tommy on that floor that would show uh, a different connection like an old steam radiator or something like that no uh, that, lo that looks like that that heating system looks like it's older i don't have you been is the been in the mechanical room is there like an old steam or a boy yeah, yeah there's an old steam. There's old steam. We're getting activity behind us as we're standing here. What are you getting? Um, Lucy just indicated a dark mass walking, running down the hallway to, towards us. Um, but she don't have a camcorder in her hands, so she didn't physically record it. And okay. she's hearing footsteps. If she's got a phone, we can link her in. And there's a lady in three fifteen, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. There's a lady that we've experienced in this room that is tapping. I don't know if you're initially picking this up. Well, we'll bring your sound up. You there? Yep, I just brought you up. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yep. I lost you for a second. That was weird. I'm being told to tell you to do an EVP. We need to do EVP tonight. Uh, matter of fact, we have one now. Can you do it now? Oh, cool. Mike and I can mute so we don't make any noise. Put it right. Put it right over by the window or on that um, wheelchair. Tommy, did you put? Oh, you're you're using your phone for that. I was going to say, are you you got ability to use those apps? I told you to do. I, I'm using the phone for this, and like I said, we're at ten percent, so I'm gonna have to have a charge here shortly. All right, we can we can go back and use those apps afterwards that I sent you the cool. bird app, so you can watch it. Okay, um, so I'm being told to, to tell you to ask who she is and what she wants or needs you to do, and hopefully we'll get an answer on those. Can you indicate who you are? What is it you need me to do? Is there something you need us to do? Who are you? Can you 
Hmm. Um, I'm okay, so I'm being told to, to tell you to ask who she is and what she wants or needs you to do. Uh, hopefully we'll get an answer on those. Can you indicate who you are? What is it you need me to do? Is there something you need us to do? Who are you? Getting a name, Marge. Did you get anything on there? Because it's too hard for us to really tell. Well, I couldn't tell. Um, I got something just before that, Christy. Um, you got when you got done talking, there was a voice in there. Okay. Can you play it again? Let's see, hold it up to did you, did you hear that woman's voice? Um, I heard something at the end after I finished talking. Exactly. It was right before you started talking. It was like that brief. Yeah, is that pause? And that's what I'm referring to. There's something there. I can't make it out. You gotta go back and take a look. I was. I can't remember if I went to say it or I stopped myself asking if you guys had gifted. On the chair, I saw there was a cigarette on the on the wheelchair. Yes. So as you were setting the and I was getting ready to ask if you would just done a gifting session. If that was new, that's an old gift. I thought you were muted. That, that was from probably a previous investigation. Whoa! What was that? I seen on the. I Sorry, see oh. I might have thought my phone was on silent. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't see that with my own eyes. That actually shot up through the camera. Did you see that shoot underneath the? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. It came out from underneath the wheelchair and shoot straight up. Who's Marge? I'm getting Marge. I'm getting a... It, we have no clue, but we are both getting... Me and Lucy both are getting a female presence, for sure. Yeah, I'm getting Marge. Like an, <laughs> an old, um, you know, elderly lady, really gruff, rough around the edges, who likes her cigarettes and is ornery and wants to be left alone. That's what I'm getting. Lucy's getting a Betty. Okay. There could be uh, different people that we're picking up on. Okay. Uh, is Betty, a nickname, is really Betty a nickname for Marge? Oh, you're right, Margaret, because Marge is usually short for Margaret. You can do Maggie, some, some or, you know, Betty, um, Peggy. Could it be Peggy? I it's possible. She's um she's she's turning to my camera lady now. 
<laughs> I think uh, Jamie got a little tired with arms. Um, <laughs> uh, that's I'm why I said not to use the tablet. <laughs> right? But yeah. you know, I think I'll have to go back and get my phone okay. uh, on charger. Do you want me to just grab the tablet and reconnect? Yeah, you can just, you got that same link. So go grab that transition. I'd really like to look, or maybe it's a good thing to look during the day back down that hallway and just kind of see if there's any difference in the paint. Um, because okay. that really looks like it's absorbing a lot of um, a lot of light. So I try a couple different light colors in that corner. Am I going right here? Yeah. yeah. I got to make sure I'm walking this proper, area, proper way. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on charge and then uh, give me just a couple of moments to get my tablet out and get it situated. Okay. Yep. You're going to do, right do the edit after. So Cool, cool. Yep. Sounds good. All right. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. okay. Um, maybe I can drop that in there. One, uh, fire. Where? Fire. I'm picking up on fire. Okay. Um, there's a fire somewhere in the building. I see people having to event. Oh, I wonder if that's why I picked up on somebody having to run and get out. Um, it's, because I see people, and it's only in one section, though. Like, it's not a mass exodus. It's more of, um, like, a certain section. And I feel like the head or the warden, and I, and a warden is coming to my mind, and I don't know why. But it's, like, whoever was in charge, you know, or of that section or that. Well, I mean, if it, it was an infirmary at the time, I mean, if you had a doctor or something like that, or, you know, right. that, that quote-unquote nurse Cratchit, you know, that, right. you know, you're going to do things on my unit with, you know, the way I am, you know, right. The heavy, heavy handed fist. So. Yes. Write it down. Don't tell me what to do. Yep. <laughs> I'm getting the name Matthew as well. Okay. Uh, um, Folks that don't know us, I'm Mike uh, Thacko of Bigfoot Research with my partner here, Christy London. We are Where's My Sage? Christy is a crazy person. EM, and uh, I am uh, the kind of the debunker of things who's seen some things that can't explain so one of those things so, so we are remote because i had surgery and we wish we were there with the team on site in ohio thank you tommy and your guys and girls yeah, this for is letting cool. us join us mm -hmm. it's always fun to do this even if it's virtual you know yeah for sure yeah um so, like, just a recap. So, for people who might just be tuning in or hadn't, didn't watch from the beginning, um, when I first sat down to log on to do this tonight, um, right away I was flooded and inundated with information. So, I started writing it down and, you know, got these notes here. So, um, I had picked up on, and we did not go everywhere. There's no way we could hit all the different, you know, rooms and hallways and areas that they have but um i had picked up on like a big uh puffy couch um with a window behind it and in a darker kind of a living area a living room also a pantry i feel like we need to visit the pantry a kitchen area or a pantry um it looked like a small walk-in uh it had white patterned wallpaper kind of 70s style or something of that nature um sliding door or sliding folding door that you pull out you know that would um, mm -hmm. the accordion door, I guess, but it was wooden, a lighter wooden with a little round handle on it. Um, I also saw a woman and she was dressed. It was more, um, in the, it was the sitting room or the formal, um, front room parlor. I can't tell for sure, but she was more, she was a maid, long black dress, you know, the white, lacy collar, like the nicer, like you can tell she worked for, you know, people who had a lot of money. 
Um, I also had seen a soldier, like, or an officer, like, by the, he looked like he might have been uh, of higher rank just by the, the uniform he was wearing. Uh, was in more of a formal dining room or a nicer dining area. Um, there was some sort of an altercation, and he was standing in front of a big tall china cabinet. Um, and I saw him, he, it's like he reacted almost as if he was shot like in the upper shoulder, which actually they did show us, um, that cabinet earlier on. Um, and the, you know, all the things that I'm saying, it doesn't necessarily mean that these things are, you know, where they were or where they are now is where they were. Like I could be seeing things through the times as well. Um, picking up on even just the residual energy from, you know, these things. But um, let's see. I was also drawn to the basement area, uh, dark stone walls. I could hear like the dripping water damp, but I felt like it had a lower ceiling to it. So you kind of maybe had to duck a little okay. bit to walk through it. Um, I also had um, a vision of like the sitting room, the more of the family room area with uh, a woman playing with two children and they, they seemed to be her children. And it was a very fun and happy and loving environment. It was like every day in, you know, in, in their home. Um, I also picked up on like a moat or a ditch going around the building. I also saw teepees nearby. Now that's going back a ways. That's going back. But at one point it was kind of up and away outside and I could see like off in the distance um, in this vision and I could see teepees set up. It was kind of cool. I right? am back in. Awesome. There oh, we guess, go. And guess, what I found, Mike? guess what I found. You found your flashlight. Now watch. Does the blue. Oh, Mike loves to blind me with those things. Um, <laughs> let me You're too camera. <laughs> so we, we got a couple of things uh, we sent you guys in our, our, our chat box there so we can kind of. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, as you see, we got the blue. Yep. And now you can see where we can see just the big light on the end. You can see that stream out in front of your flashlight. Are you seeing a lot of dust? Uh, in front of that blue fil when the blue filter's on. Oh, let me turn this camera light on. There we oh, go. There's definitely a bug or something there in the front. Mm -hmm. Yep, but I'm not seeing it with. Oh, you got you. You're gonna have to turn your other lights off and and just use that blue light for a minute. So you're gonna look like right in front of the camera. It it what's in front of the in front of that that. Oh, flashlight. okay. So physically look at it. Yeah, physically look at the yeah. So in the beam itself, are you seeing uh, material? No. Okay. You know how when you're driving down the highway and you get that stuff that's yeah you know, yeah yeah yes through the through the actual light yeah. itself. Yeah, yeah, you're not 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 through the. We're not going to be looking through the camera. You're just going to use your flashlight. That's going to be your debunk uh, for the. Gotcha. Room. So you want me to turn the flashlight on the on the uh, tablet, so you guys can initially see, or you want me to just use the yeah, flashlight? Yeah, yeah. Go back to go back to your regular uh, recording setup. And and again, each device is going to give you something a little different, so you can get rid of that the spot. But I'm just saying, if you walk into a room and you use that light, um, you really. Uh, I, I wish I was here on site with you so I could mm -hmm. show you yeah. that. I'm going to flip it. That function. I'm gonna, hold on a second. Let me shut this off. Okay. So we've got a couple of things, questions. Christy's got some questions. Um, in the up. chat? Yeah. So there's some stuff in our chat. And then um, we did a little banter back and forth while you were working. Just some, some things that she picked up on I, in the area. Yeah, I'm not seeing the anything in the chat. Okay. So it's, it's going to be the private chat. I got that open, and there's nothing in it. There's nothing in it? Nothing in it. Well, let me try. Can you see anything, Josh? I don't see anything. I've got Josh with me now. Uh, the women's taking a break. Okay. Did you just uh, – I just sent a message in. Did you just get the message? I just saw something pop up. It said hello. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, so um, when was the building uh, last used? For an investigation? No, no, or no. Op I mean, operation. As, operation. Op operational, you know, as a business. As a business, I want to say I'm not 100% positive on that. Um, I think Adam bought it in 2020, and as a business, it was the health department. Okay. Before that, I want to say a couple years before that. So seventeen um, or eighteen. Okay. Do you do you know if there was ever a fire in one section of this building? Yes. Okay. Because I was picking up on during the break when Mike and I were talking, um, I saw a fire, but it was only in like a section of the building. Like it wasn't a mass exodus kind of an idea. It was a section had to evacuate. Um, it was a certain would, would area you like that was- Would you like me to take you? Yeah, that'd be great. Do you want me to Does take that, you to that So you can validate that? Yeah, validate it for me. That'd be great. <clears throat> and this would be the question is, they were coming out of the basement. You're coming out of the second floor, walking up to the third. Okay. This will be the third floor. This is where we just at with the, um, the older lady in that room with the EVP we did. Okay. Um, we're actually going to come around. So we were down there with the EVP session we just did. Okay. Now we're going to go up to the final fourth floor. Okay. 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 Just, you know, Christy's talking about that person. We're trying to run through that door. We're wondering if that was in the same section. Now, we, this is where, before I initially logged on, where we was getting a lot. I don't like that corner of that staircase. Kind of weird. Now, this is wild because it is completely dark with the light on. Yeah. So I'm going to grab my flashlight. And it help and use it. Was that a now, rec yard? It, what? Is that Was that like a rec yard? <laughs> well. Used use as like a gym or an exercise area? No. Okay. I like so to show you something. This is where the fire was up here. Yes, but it's not in this area. <laughs> Are you picking stuff up in this area, Christy? Yeah, I, I didn't like it when you walked in there. It's a very heavy energy. I don't like it. Now I can see why. <laughs> oh, I don't like that either. Oh. Patience. Oh, go over what by that change? door. Go, go by that door. No, no, no. Go to your right to that little... Oh, Quarantine. that was that was not good. People got beat and tossed in there. It was almost like a homemade sludge. Oh, oh my God! Go closer, go closer to that door, please. Is it? Are you able to open it, or is that locked? No, it's, locked. it's a padlock. Okay. The reason I I brought you to this spot is see the hole, wall anchors. Yep. This is the original hooks. They were chained to the wall. There were some severely, severely mentally challenged people up there. I see people sitting in there who can barely function, whose minds they were just do you know if there was an in-house residency or a staff section of the building where they would live inside the building i don't know and i just looked for that the breathing thing when we first walked in that was anxiety and not yeah I, that's I, exactly that's why that's exactly what I get every time I come up here. Now, my initial goal bringing you up here was to show you the section that was on fire. They call this the chicken coop because the door it has chicken wire. Okay, that's 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 new chicken wire. That's so the door frame is so short you have to duck when you walk through it. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna go back. <laughs> You're going to go back and watch our... Oh, my God. 
It's it's exactly what you just described. Oh my god, it's in my notes, Tommy. We were talking about the notes. I was kind of recapping for people the notes. That wasn't the basement. That's this room. Oh my god. Me guess. So, part of my language. The fire happened in that corner right there. Is Do they know? Do they have a cause for the fire? No, but it took them an hour to put it out. Mm -hmm. People, it, that section had to evacuate. This corner was on fire. So, up there, I picked up on more of like a warden style type person. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Why? There was a warden that ran this area and. He actually committed suicide. And it was not in this building he committed suicide. Okay. You're yeah, definitely you're gonna to want to pay attention to our so that there was break a, where we were talking. So there was a fire in that corner, but yet it's got is that original wallpaper? No. Okay. I think this was the fire happened years, I mean years ago. Several years ago, this was done and initially to fix the what happened with the fire. Okay, so that's a secondary wallpaper then. Okay. Yes. It's still. You can almost see, still see the charge. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now with the, the are those ceilings really... lower? Are you able to stand upright in those rooms? Stand straight up. Yes. Yes. These are. But those are lower ceilings, aren't they? Um, yes, they're probably about six, seven feet. But you had, you had to stoop, didn't you, to come up those stairs? Just that door frame. Right. Just the no, door when frame. You're, when you're coming up onto the floor, though, uh, the, how, what's the... Oh, the, yeah, it did slant. You're, yeah. yeah, when you came around. Yeah, the I'm going to walk back out that way, and I'll show you the, this side of the door frame. It's got a set of stairs. Um... So you got the set of stairs and it comes up and then the actual door frame itself is shorter. So you see what I'm saying? It's a little bit, and I'm using my flashlight because for some odd reason up here, it gets really dark. And even though I got my tablet light on, it's not initially lighting it up as much. I believe. And I, I think it might be the energy. Yeah. And that area was used for what? This is where they house a lot of individuals that um, um, they couldn't, you know, handle. They were out of control. Yeah. The, the mentally, uh, you know, it's an awful word, but back then it was the mentally retarded, the mentally challenged, the nonverbal, the violent. What's um, on the right? Uh, you mean that? That's, that's a, a staircase. No, go right. Oh, that's his saw horses. And then but there's a door, door here, but. That door's got a lock on it. What, I'm not able to access it. Knock. Can you give it a give it a rap? No, the the door itself. Give it a knock. Pretty thick. Yeah. Okay. I mean, well, it's yeah. That's your thickness. Yeah, it's a storage more than that would be. I think that. Yeah, I think it might be a storage. Um, and there's another one. I room. just heard screaming. Like out of control, screaming. Like it's one of the patients. Like, get me out of here. Because we do have two additional rooms here. Okay. And here, which are locked as well. And what were those or what, what are I, they? I don't know. I have to check with Adam on that. Um, okay. I don't know if it's storage. I think they might have stuff in here, storage in here. So he initially locks it to keep from teams to, you know, have access to it. Sure. I'm wondering, I'm curious to know what they used to be, though, what they were used for. Right. Especially. Yeah, that's a good question. I think, um, like I said, I think the fire was in that far right corner. Okay. Um, and they initially try to repair it after the fire. You know, gotcha. um, so, and I also noticed up in this area, we, you know, skylights, skylights. Yes. You have them all out. Hmm. 
This area is going to get a new roof very soon, but it also has a crawl space uh, right above me. I can almost touch it. That okay. is definitely a, a later cut in. Um, Oh, I'm shaking like really, really bad right now for some reason. You what? My nerves are shaking really, really bad. And there's, it's like the the energy is like really thick, and I'm I'm just like my nerves are shaking, and that's why yeah, it looks you, kind of blurry. You have a you have a patient up there with you, and he is not a happy camper. He's scared. He's angry. He doesn't understand. He actually is the one one of the guys who was chained in that. Um, area no in that like in uh he was strapped into one of those wheelchairs and chained to the wall but he was strapped like when i say strapped i don't mean i mean like i can see it going across his chest and his lap and i feel like wow his arm <laughs> it's thick it's like really 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 thick up here the energy is like yeah wow I am, i'm like man it's like it's enough to take your breath away it's like something sitting on your chest Yep, absolutely. There was um, so much anxiety, so much sadness, so much anger, so much fear. Um, I wonder if that was the staff housing. But this was the back staircasing. Um, you guys want to, are you okay up here? Or you oh, keep going? Kitchen. Christy was looking for the kitchen. Kitchen. I, I don't know if there's a kitchen in here. Um, they, had, they had to be able to feed everybody. Yeah, I know, and I'm thinking there's again, um, low, low so what I what I picked up on was what looked to be a small pantry of some sort. It had like a folding door that slid open and closed. It looks like it's lighter wood or like a medium colored wood. Is that even a thing? Medium colored, you know, like a like a lighter to medium brown colored wood. Um, and you would slide it open. It was slightly it was small, but you could still kind of step into it a little bit. Um Okay. Um, it has what looks to be white patterned wallpaper. I did write down like a 70s kind of a style. Um, so it might have been updated. Um, sliding door, wooden, round handle. Yeah, but it was like a small walk-in pantry of some sort. Only place I can think that maybe initially was the kitchen is this room. Because it has the split doors. And there's a round handle on it. And there's a round handle, but they have it um, as storage. Um, I, I'm not able to get in there. And it's been painted. And it's been painted, yes. It's painted white. But this, this has a access? sink. It has a sink and all that. But like I said, they... Oh. They have the sink and everything on the far end. No. Uh, how many, do you know how many residents were, or patients were kept in that building? Not off the top of my head, no. This is one of the ones I, uh, I'm trying to get it to, yep. Close this back. Maybe it was in the basement because you, you'd want to bring your food in through the outside. You wouldn't be dragging them that far. Uh, you know, you said that, and there is a, Man, I know. I think I know what you're talking about, and I can't remember where it's at. Um, it's in the basement. Got... Well, that? I was drawn to the basement too, so maybe that's part of why. What did you hear that? It's not like there's footsteps coming down these stairs. Right when I come by it, um, and those are the ones you thought somebody ran up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That those are the ones I wanted to run up and run through that door. Now, there's a base. Th th this is the first floor, and I'm thinking this is probably where they did the food, but I'm trying to remember. Because does it look like there's a large enough room for like a like a cafeteria or a dumb waiter system? Mm hmm. Look at look, now. This liver. Is where... Somebody's down there that had issues with liver. Oh my God. It was back in that other section. 
back there's uh in this section over here where it was kind of stone or, or concrete yeah because the room that i um the basement dark stone or cement walls sound of water dripping damp lower ceiling huh, where's your hot water oh thing? you know what yep and you know what water dripping um i'm gonna take it to a spot you might recognize very quickly christy especially you Okay. How is your stream look, Tommy, on your side? Does it look pretty clear? It's crystal clear. Okay. <laughs> are you are you getting a fuzz? We're getting a little bit of fuzz. Um, but that's going to be what your signal strength look like because you are in a basement, so you're going to get the concrete and the rebar and all 5G, that. 5G. I've got three bar. Yep. It could also be the energy. Diamond. There. Yeah. It, well, no, it just it clean it just cleared up, but it did. Um, Good. Were those trough, trough sinks? You're in the morgue. What's the right? Okay. <laughs> I thought so. You're in the morgue. Spent enough time in those places. Um, okay. That's the wash tubs. Mm -hmm. and, and here's where they have water dripping because the spring water well that runs underneath this location. <laughs> you hear it running right now. If you listen carefully. Got cars. Oh, sorry, that's outside my house. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to. I can't remember where this kitchen is. Um, and where did he tell me that was? Some old original doors that was here. Um, you know what? He has this room for storage. I'm kind of going going through all the rooms down here just to maybe we can find it. I think he's yeah, using this for, for storage. From outside, is there anywhere that has like uh, bill code doors where they would with a slide or something? Wow, I've never been in here yet. Yeah, like a dining room. That's what I was thinking too with a dining room table. Um, they just finished repairs in this room. They just finished this whole floor. It was rotted out. Hmm. I have a heavy oh my God. Room. I think I might have found it. Pantry. That's what they use to ship the food up to all the patients. That's an elevator. Dumb waiter. Dumb waiter. So we are pretty close, I want to say, in the proximity. No, it's not. It don't look like any kitchen net or anything like but that. It could have been changed. What I could be yeah. seeing could have been from before. Um, you know, Adam might be able to validate some of what you know. Yeah, um, and I can, I can definitely, I can definitely verify that um, with him. Now, see, that's like a he's got that set up as a dining room table. Now. This is one place that I have not took you yet. Hmm. Okay. And mm. then this is all original. That's pretty cool. And then I believe this was the waiting room. Is there outside access to that? Or are they making them walk up and down all the stairs? Um, we're this is the old section of the building, the bump out, the 1828 location. So there. right there is your main door to come in. Back in those days, that was your main door. So there's got so if that's a physician's office, there's got to be residential on this side. There's the other piano. He has multiple pianos in here. And he said they all was here when he got it. Yeah, I bet. I bet. And you picked up, um, believe it or not, you picked up the dress and everything right here. 
Oh, so we're back. Okay, I see what you did. There. You're back where you was at at the very beginning. Okay. So and then because the funeral parlor is over there. Yes, this is the funeral parlor. So this is the room that everybody will mangle for the funeral. Well, and the then, couch. yep. So that's why we came here because you was were talking there, about the oh, couch. The couch in the window behind it. There is. You got somebody with you. Oh my god! I feel like he. I am feeling you. it too in my kidneys. Or my liver. It's my, my liver. Part. It's my, it's my liver. Left, left side of my back, lower back. Yeah. So liver is my right side, and it's the side. And mine's like, the left side. And I that's why I keep adjusting because man, it it's a sharp pain. You have a man who's following you around, and he had one hell of an issue with his liver. Oh my gosh. Where's the bar? The bar. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, no, I, don't I, know. I think it was more of um. Hey, no, no, because if if there's a funeral home in there, yes. Most funeral homes at the time, somebody would be in residence. Yes. So somewhere in there actually had to be a residential. So had to have a liquor cabinet or something floating around. Yeah, but right there. Like well, that's. Wine glasses. Wine glasses. It that I wonder if the bottom half was a liquor cabinet or if it was for more. Because it, did they use? I wonder if they used the funeral parlor as their daily parlor. That is definitely a possibility. I don't have a whole lot of history. I do know this door folds open. It's actually closed, but it, it folds. It's got hinges. Um. Okay. As you see. So is there's another exit out there, Tommy, on to the uh to your right in the other room where the casket is? Yes, there it goes right out where the physician room is. Uh goes out in the hallway and then right across is the waiting area for the physician. Okay, area. so so what's to the left right there? Hallway. We come hallway. through here and that's um, new that's new building. Oh, there's an elevator. That's how you get patients, sir. Well, this was put in by the health department. The elevator what did. The elevator is not the original part of the building. And this is the original wall from 1828. It's in a plaque. That's the exterior but, wall. But this is where we just at. Um. Yes. What was that? Yeah, we just went through this whole section here. This area that we're in right now, Lucy, just does not like the feeling in here. And I think it's that man that you started initially picking up with the with the liver. Because I originally started looking here. Yeah, he's when not you start picking that up, and that's where the hot water. He's came. angry. Right. And man, I'm still getting that sharp pain in my left yeah, side of my. Yeah, he's angry, and he back. came from there because that was that was where I. Oh, he he his domain his area is in that room to your left. Every time you from the first time you looked into that room, yep. That's when I first got hit with this pain and uh, see, what, see, see, stay focused. No, 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 go back. Go. Oh. What's in that corner over there? In that cage? Uh, in the Here? cage, no, to the left. Yeah, in front of you. Oh, that's a door. Okay, no, go on the other side of that door. That, that, that on the other side of the fence. There's boxes behind there. Just walk straight. Oh, I lost you. What? Yep. Uh, just there go. There's a shelf unit. No, no, no. Go, no, no. go out of the room. Go out of that little room. It's on the other side of the open door. There were like boxes or something. Immediate to the left. Yep. Behind it. 
right here. Oh, right here. Is that what I was seeing through that? Yes. What is that? I'm very it's a drawn to that. Box. It's a wooden box, an old wooden box. It's painted. Um, and it's got sticks hanging out of it. Why? <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> um, not sure what that door goes to. We are in the ground floor and we are facing, man, I, don't, I, don't, I think we're facing 37, right? So we are underneath. I, I I don't have a visualized where we're actually located in the building. Um, they have a building cabinet of some sort in the wall, okay. in the corner cabinet. Wonder if that became a maintenance shop when the county was working in there. Uh, because I'm picking up on a custodian. That's exactly well, well, what well, I, well, wait, I was. Go, go, back right, go back to the right. 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 Right, Wait. right, a little bit more. There was something moving in in the frame, but it wasn't. I was trying to figure out if there was a light from outside or something. It would have been over to the right. Okay, we'll come back and I'll. Well, there's I'll a look mirror at that again. Yeah, it's a yeah. No, no, no. This was this was a single point. You know, oh. I'm not I'm not saying orb or anything, but I'm trying to pick up what that. Yeah, the, right here. You had to have county maintenance there because there's your sprinkler panel and everything. Well, that's that's the brand new fire system he installed. That's the that's the new one. Okay. Yes, yeah, the new one. Yes, I had to uh, hit the silence button on this earlier because it was beeping like crazy. <laughs> so right there, it said silence. Yeah, I'm getting the same short pain, Christy. I don't. Man, it it is killing my lower back on both sides now. Just not just my left, but both sides. Um, this is in the uh, look like a boiler, maybe a furnace. Yeah, that's that's heating. Christy, that's on your side. The oh, noise. I think yeah. Yeah. So the morgue is over there. We was just in there. This is the only spot of the whole building we have not been yet. Okay. <clears throat> and well, wait, we was just here for a second looking for the the kitchenette. So yeah, this is the dining room table. Okay. That they initially set yeah. up. Um, ooh, I just noticed that. That looks like the army. There's your soldiers, Christy. Yeah, you're gonna have to watch that five minute blurb. <laughs> and I'm who's losing Ma mine. Who's Matthew? Really? Christy, was, Christy wanted to know who Matthew was. Hey, this is the ooh, Fort Knox, Kentucky. Okay. 1941. So now you got a good shot of what it. Uh, you can't really read it. Yep. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a glare and it's blurry. Geo got the 69th Armored REG Proficiency M, Fort Knox, Kentucky, June of 1941. Okay. Thank you. Tankers. So who's Matthew? Ooh, that's a good question. I was just, I, I picked up a, a, a M and some type of name, and I'm glad you you actually got the full name. Matthew. I don't know who Matthew is. There had to be a, a residency. Yeah, I'm starting to think the same thing, Mike. Uh, um, I don't know 100% if there was or not. Um, well, yeah, what, so, what would be directly above the parlor and the doctor's office in the original building? I'm going to go up them steps because here's the doctor's office right here. And the steps are here. So if we go up the steps, I'm walking kind of fast. Oh, and I'm shaking. <laughs> and right above that. So this is still going to be the original building. Yeah. Is this room is the above the doctor's office. And we have a residency. I'm 
I am physically seeing a white mist when I first walked in here with my own eyes. So is that a bathroom to the left? Because what? why would you have the silver and everything in there? Okay, we I think this was the residence. Yeah, we haven't been in here. No. no. You got another singer. You got the desk. Is this the family? I'm getting touched. On my oh, I'm getting my, my chingles. There's those same I, shoes we chills. saw before. I've, I've got chills like massive. Yeah, I think we're on to something here. Um, and that goes into where you just seen a birdcage and all. And then this is where we picked up. We was just in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these were. So these okay. must have been your residency. Okay. Now, like I said, he. The hallway is just piled up. I can't get through it. So, because they're initially redoing two, two or three rooms, and the rest of them are locked up, so I can't even go in those. Um. Yeah, see, it's, it's just storage. So, and they have this, th these two rooms locked. That room at the far end is a maintenance room. That room's locked. And this was from the other side where the doll was. So I've showed you this entire building already room for room. <laughs> and we are past your time at midnight, right? Yeah, it's okay. It's not too, too, it's not too, too bad, but we covered everything. That's awesome. Yeah, you covered everything. I can't and wait. I, I can't wait to see what you and Adam can validate and, and what you guys can yes. with when you, you know, all of you, when you <laughs> review, excuse me, and okay. you go through it. And If someone's in here, can they shut that jail cell door? If you're still with us, uh, light that rim pot up, please. Thank you so very much. You can play with that REM pod all your little heart desires. Did I get that? Yeah, I think you did. Are you sure? Yes. Can you do that again, please? If you're still with us, light it up, please. Oh, we got activity both sides of us. Look, you oh. apparently are my go to person for the night because it's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Um, we're being cornered, guys. Oh, my God, you can smell it, guys. You can smell it. Whoa! Oh my god, we got a bat. We got a bat. We got a bat. He's flying in this room in here. There's a bat. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, we gotta get out of here. Quit jerking on me, man. I'm scared of the bat. Do 
Did y'all hear that? Did you hear that? Yes, I did. Yes, yeah. I did. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, oh, we got activity both sides of us. Look, you apparently yeah, are my go to person for the night. So just get... <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Um, we're being cornered, guys. Oh my god, you can smell it, guys. You can smell it. Whoa! Oh my god, we got a bat. We got a bat. We got a bat. He's flying in this room in here. Yeah, we know. Don't go in there. There's a bat. Whoa! Oh, no. Where's the bat? Whoa! Okay, we gotta get out of here. Quit jerking on me, man. I'm scared of bats. Mom, it's Josh. Are you here with us? Are you following me? Now I, I saw like a light out there. This right in that side touch me. Your voice is coming out of her. 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 H E R. Who's her? Sarah, Mary, I can't. I can't. You can't what? Us? Is that why you want us to stop? Mabel. Mabel. Um, Is there a Mabel behind you? There's a dresser dress? behind me that's got a photograph on it. Oh, I'm wondering if that's asking me to stop leaning. Well, I've been having my back on it. Are you asking me to stop leaning on the, on the dresser? Tell me about it. I'm sorry if I made you mad. Are you Sarah? Convicted. 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 What's that mean? Oh, you don't know. Yeah. Are you, what are you guilty of? Does that mean that you're Sarah? Are you convicted of doing something? Do you like being with us? Yeah. Or it. Fred. Don't. Fred. Did I say Fred? No. Frightened. Don't. Frightened. Right after he asked, do you like being with us? Don't. Frightened. Why are you frightened? We're not here to hurt you. So she doesn't like being in here with us? Well, are you, do, you, are you, do you think we'll protect you? Are we? Because we will protect you. Me. What do you need? <coughs> no, don't. Do you want us to leave? Yeah, I, I got something got choked up. I just can't. I got, I got to step out. What year is it? What year is it? Twenty twenty two. She got smoke all over the place. What year is you? Blazing it up. I can't. I, I can't. What year do you think it is? Me. 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 Me.
It's a male, Tommy. Just a male. Okay. And that's what I've been picking up in here. And What's I, your name, though? I'm to the point where I can't breathe. I had to step Tell out. Tell me about it. Because they are smothered. I asked what your name is. You said you couldn't breathe it. Was you was you beaten in here? Are you smoking in here? Who is he? Red. Red. Um, you're the only one that has red right now, sir. So they want to know who you are. Who me? Yep, because your low light is red. Caution. Caution. I'm Tommy. Who are you? 